So hopefully it's not too bad. It, it really isn't too bad. As long as we can multiply polynomials and radicals together, then this really shouldn't be too bad. <clears throat> now, if we don't like the radicals, of course, we can change them into exponentials, which may allow us to uh, simplify these a little bit easier. I don't know. Just be careful because the wording on this is quite slick, and it's meant to be that way to confuse people. This word among means that sometimes the solution that we find is not an actual solution. All right. So what does that mean for us? It means that we absolutely positively have to check that the answer is the solution. Okay. Before it was kind of optional, like, yeah, I don't want to do it because I don't really care what I get on the test. Now, if you don't do it, then you may be putting wrong answers on the test, which is a completely different thing. All right. <laughs> uh, again, right here, the principle of power stuff. Again, you just, you will have to check. Okay. This does not mean that the answers to the exponential equations are answers to the original equations. Yes, that's what it is saying. Okay. And this is specifically because right now we're dealing with the exponents and the radical stuff, which changes everything, right? Because sometimes it's positives, sometimes we're looking at negatives, sometimes you can't have negatives, which changes everything. So this one is just true or false. So this is something that you do, again, at the end of solving some type of equation, and you would find that Maybe t is 9. I don't know. Let's find out. So right here we've got t squared equals 81. But we're going to replace t with um, that 9. So 9 squared, as it turns out, is 81. Does 81 equal 81? I guess I could have put a question mark there, right? Because we didn't know. Well, this is true. Which would mean that if we were checking our work, we would know that the answer is correct. But right here, we're just saying it's true.